Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Optics Company, here today bringing you another live commentary playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You guys remember whenever I did the Mountain Dew player card promotional campaign a while back ago? Well, since that one went so well, another company is interested in working with me. Now, it's much like the Mountain Dew thing. It's only a seven-second overlay in the beginning of the video saying a couple of words with a player card, and it is for the game Evolve, which I think is pretty cool because it's actually a game that I was quite interested in myself. But basically, all it is is replacing the ads on my normal videos, and it's a promotional thing for Evolve. So, once again, you guys know how I feel. I appreciate all the support. You guys make opportunities like this realistic and possible, and I want to thank you guys once again. But let's hop into the commentary. Oh, one more thing. It's only going to be on a couple of videos. It's not going to be on very many. It's only going to be on a couple. But, you know, sometimes as a YouTuber, some of the topics that I talk about or we talk about... Sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable for us to talk about because we don't really know how you guys are going to react to it. Now, I thought that this would be a pretty funny topic because people love girls, first of all. People love talking about girls on YouTube, and I also thought that why not, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like I'm talking about something crazier than this. So today we're going to be talking about Sethi's first kiss. You guys are probably like, well, you've, you've kissed a girl? I, I thought that you were, a, I thought you were a freak of nature. Well, yes, I have kissed a girl. I mean, look at me. I'm, you know, I'm a solid six, so I don't think it's too, too out of the ordinary. Okay, so we're going to go back way, 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 way back in time. We're going to go all the way back to sixth grade. Now imagine a sixth grade scumpy. Now let's go all the way back to sixth grade. Now imagine a sixth grade scumpy. Now back in sixth grade, I didn't really give a shit about what I looked like. I was more into, you know, getting my schoolwork done. I wasn't really into girls yet. Well, I sort of, I sort of was, but I really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I was still like... Girls weren't like a needed thing for me. Like I didn't need a girl. So, you know, me and this one girl get to talking. You know, I thought she was cute. I was in sixth grade. I didn't really think girls were hot at this point yet. Like I said, like I said, she's, she was cute to me. So I started talking to her. I started hitting her up on AIM. You know, Matt game was super strong on AIM. Girls were all over me on AIM. I was, I was the, I forget what my username was. It was something like, something football freak. And I was a Mac Daddy, but not really. I, I really, I wasn't a Mac Daddy at all. I was actually, I was actually a pretty, pretty weird kid. Probably a freak of nature to most of these girls. But anyway, so me and this girl start talking, right? We're, we're talking, you know, we're hitting it off. Um, I never really had a serious girlfriend up until this point, but I think that this was my first one. And I don't know, dating to me at this point wasn't really even a thing. So I don't even, I don't even know if I would consider it a relationship because, you know, when, when you're in sixth grade, you don't really, you don't think the same as when you get to high school. It's just, it's not the same. And this was like fresh into sixth grade. Your boy might as well still been in elementary school. Like I was just, I was just getting pushed into sixth grade. This wasn't like I was almost a seventh grader I'm moving up in the world. No, I was like, I was just coming out of fifth grade. I was a straight freak. But anyway, so me and her start talking. I'm laying down the Mac down on instant message game. Um, the question presents itself. This was probably a, a month or two. A couple months, maybe. A couple months into into us talking. She's like, have you ever kissed a girl before? And I obviously said, no, I have not. And you know what? I don't want to see any of you guys hating on me because this takes a lot of balls to do. And I'm not sure. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for it. But it's a pretty shitty day out. It's not really nice out. Um, I'm walking into school. My heart's racing, you know, a thousand times a second. We didn't really say that we were going to kiss, but it was pretty much implied at this point. Like, it was, it was a weird sort of flirt, and it was implied that I was, you know, I was, this was this was the day. This was the day I became a man. Okay, so I'm walking in the doors to my school, and you guys got to remember, I'm, I'm not feeling good right now. I'm literally, I'm scared shitless. This is the day. This is the day for me. So I'm walking to my locker. Um, this was a big step for me as well because, you know, I upgraded from lockers. We had cubbies in elementary school. I had a locker now. But, so essentially, I'm walking to my locker, um, I see her, I sort of avoided her at first, actually, I, I really didn't, didn't want to talk to her, I really, I tried to avoid her, so I'm walking by, right, and I, like, glance at her, but she doesn't see me, so I just, like, dip behind the lockers, and I go all the way around to get to my locker, oh, I was sneaky, but obviously, she's gonna come to my locker, you know, there was this thing every morning, she'd come to my locker, we would hang out, talk for, like, five minutes, and then we would end up going to our first morning period, which was more like a, it was just like a study hall, basically, where you just sat in your room for like 15, 20 minutes, wait for the day to start, watch the news on the TV, and um, it was sort of like a social period. But so the time comes, 
she comes to my locker. Like I said, we had a routine. She comes to my locker. We're sitting there. I have no idea what to do. My head is a blur. I don't know what's going on at this po at this moment. So she she makes the first move. She leans in, right? And it was completely out of nowhere. It was a horrible time. You know, it, it just wasn't right. It wasn't right. Looking at it now, it just wasn't right. So she leans in. I look at her. I look at her lips. I look back up at her. And I'm like, I'm dying inside right now. I'm literally scared for my life. But so I end up leaning in, right? I'm coming in. Coming in. Guess what I do? I thought that I was, you know, good. I thought that I was going to be a savage. I thought I had it in the bag. I was like, all right, this is done. This is a done deal. Let's go. She wants to kiss me. And I end up missing to her. I think it was to her right. And I'm sorry, it's it's just hard for me to talk about because I was literally, I messed up so bad. I went for the field goal and I missed wide right, dude. On me too much. I was a young kid. I didn't know what I was doing. I was really scared. The nerves were going. Definitely worse than playing at COD Champs. But don't make fun of me. I can't imagine what some of your first kiss stories sound like. But after the fact, it was a little bit awkward, you know, it, it didn't go very well, so we weren't really, we weren't really both happy. Uh, I definitely wasn't happy. I was kicking myself, like, through my first couple periods. Uh, I was, I was in a lot of pain. You know, I was thinking to myself, is she gonna break up with me? Did I, did I do it wrong? Did I fuck up? And, you know, eventually everything worked out. We ended up breaking up anyway, probably like a couple months later down the line. And everything's cool now. But that is the story, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it was a little bit of a laugh for you guys. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, favor, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this is your boy, Optic Scumpy.